All right, time to take a look at your weather with meteorologist Daniel McFarlane. I felt like there were so many people out in the roadways today just really embracing uh, Labor Day, the day off, and then the weather that we're having. Oh, yeah, I think this was probably the best day of the weekend to get out there because, you know, it was really windy and cloudy yes. Saturday, still windy Sunday, and today you were out there. It's kind of hot, wasn't it? It was hot, but then there were some moments of breeze that kind of cooled things down. Yeah, and that helped break it up a bit, but thankfully the breeze will be going away tomorrow. We're still going to be seeing plenty of sunshine. In fact, if you look outside, this is going to be your view. Not a cloud in the sky for most of southern Arizona. Very, very nice day. And about half an hour ago, we were keeping an eye on the winds. They haven't really changed up too much. We're still seeing consistent winds around 10 miles per hour that will be dropping as we get into tomorrow. I'll talk about that in just a second. But let's talk about this humidity first because that's also been on the way down. Some of you might be asking, well, is monsoon over? Not exactly. We still have a few more days left. Remember, it's going to be the end of this month, but most of the rain we're going to be having, I think, coming up isn't necessarily going to be due to monsoon storms. Instead, there's going to be a tropical system that we're going to start to see impacts from. But at least as of right now, we're not seeing anything at all. This is going to be the view of southern Arizona from space. We're not seeing a cloud over Tucson. If you go up towards Phoenix, you're not seeing anything there. Looks like the closest cloud cover to us at all is going to be up there in northern Greenlee County. Maybe a couple weaker thunderstorms, but that's not going to reach us because of how low the humidity is right now. So there's really no chance of rain for the next couple days. And those of you that are kind of sick of these winds, those are going to be changing up to look at tomorrow really late morning. Not really too bad for Tucson. So if you're going to be outside at all at around 10 or 11 o'clock should be just fine. And shortly after that, you're only looking at 15 miles per hour for those wind gusts in Tucson. That's more of a typical day here, but still right along the border. You still have some of those yellow areas might actually have some isolated spots reach 30 mile per hour winds. That's not really too out of the ordinary, though, as we get into your day right there. And when it comes to temperatures, those are still going to be warmer for tomorrow. That's really the only bad thing whenever you tend to see winds die down is that temperatures start to go on up when you have this much dry air and sunshine. And for Tucson, I am expecting 103 as we get into your day tomorrow for that area. And for Phoenix, Ajo, Cells, that's going to be your warmer spot. Typically, even Pine Top's going to be pretty warm at about 84 degrees. You have Wilcox at 90, and those low temperatures getting slightly warmer for a lot of those spots out there. And if you're thinking about the rain chances later on this week, mostly Friday and Saturday, we are going to see a minor impact from this new hurricane that just formed about an hour or two ago. This is going to be Hurricane K. It is starting to strengthen up very quickly. 80 mile per hour winds. It's going to be approaching category two as we get into the next couple days here. And as you can see, the track is going to keep it right along Baja before it eventually turns over into the Pacific Ocean. Now there's even a chance it could become a category three storm on Wednesday. Look at what it's projected to be. That's 110 miles per hour for category three. You only need 111, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's briefly a category three before it reaches some of those cooler waters just south of San Diego, and it's really going to be a tropical storm when we see the impacts here. Some of those outer bands could be reaching us. We're not going to see winds with it. We're not going to have any kind of tropical storm impact in Tucson. One thing we are going to have, though, is smaller rain chances, and I think everyone could look forward to that. Even some smaller thunderstorms are going to be possible, but no severe weather just because because the way this tropical system is going to be set up, we're just going to be too far away for any impacts like that. So it's going to be pretty nice during that time. Temperatures also dropping, and I think rain chances and temperatures dropping is something everyone can get behind as we get into next weekend. Yeah, and then checking out those early morning temperatures. Those are low 70s. Yeah, those are getting closer and closer towards the upper 60s. We yeah. should be there in a few weeks. All right, that's almost jacket weather. Oh, yeah, getting for the closer. Mornings, at yeah. least. Mm -hmm. All right, something to look forward to. Thank you for that, Daniel. Well, coming up, a new 